नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल मैं सिर्फ जेबीएन डॉक्टर रवि जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन एट फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस इन ज्योति विद्या इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी चैप इन टुडेस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टिनल सिस्टम सो व्हाट आर द वेरियस इन्वेस्टिगेशंस दैट आर नीडेड टू बी डन इन केसेस ऑफ GI system. This is the barium study. This is how the barium study looks like. Right? So this is the X-ray beam showing the barium study of the GI beam. Now let's start with the radiological examination. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the same kind of radiological examination that are needed to be done in cases of uh, investigations of GI tract, GI system. First of all, it is plain X-ray of abdomen. This is a simple and cheap investigation, plain X-ray abdomen, or it is also known as plate like abdomen. This yields many important investigations or informations. This yields many important informations. There may be a fluid level that is normally seen in the stomach because it contains both gas and fluid. In obstruction, there may be excessive gas and fluid in the bowel. About the obstruction, films taken with the patient erect will demonstrate fluid levels. Now there are different studies. One of them is barium study. How it is done? For barium studies, a radio opaque barium can be visualized. A break in continuity of the outline of the gut mucosa. abnormalities in the appearance of the mucosa and disorders of motility next is the barium swallow the procedure it is the in which uh, we can see the piece of fibers that can be studied easily with barium meal being swallowed the procedure will show disorders of motility a filling defect a filling defect that is caused by the rises or a tumor a stricture hypertrophic hernia or a diverticulum Barium mean the examination by a double contrast study in which a small amount of barium is used together with introduction of gas to distend the stomach will show an ulcer as a small collection of barium with radiation holes of gastric mucosa. Barium enema it is used to delineate the lower GI tract that is rectum, colon, and terminal ileum. Double contrast barium study is more useful than the simple study. Next is the angiography. Angiography is done in the upper GI and the lower GI tract bleeding. There is ciliary axis or the mesenteric artery, which is usually visualized for angiography. Next one is very <coughs> important investigation that is computer uh, computerized tomography, computer tomography that is CT scan. And MRI that is magnetic resonance imaging. The usefulness of the CT scan and MRI is comparable in diagnosing gastrointestinal disorders. So this was all about the radiological investigations in case of GI tract. In the in the next lecture we are going to discuss about more diagnostic examinations. This session was powered by Digital Version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Pratap University. I hope you are satisfied with my digital session. If you have any query, please mention in the comment box, and I'll try to solve. So this was all for today. Thank you very much. We will be meeting in the next lecture tomorrow. Thank you.